Hi, I'm Kevin Finch, the director of Westbound, The Genius of Wes Montgomery, a documentary film about a guitarist. So why did we talk to a trumpet player? Lots of reasons. For one, Ferez Witted knows Indianapolis. He was born here. He got his chops here. He learned from a lot of great musicians around here before he made it to the big time, but also because he has family connections to Wes Montgomery. Ferez is from the Hampton family, the other family in Indianapolis that cranked out so many great musicians, generations of them. There were the Montgomerys, of course, but also the Hamptons. So listen to how Ferez got his start as a musician in a family full of them, and then how the connections started between the Hampton and the Montgomery families. So give me some background history with with you and your, your family, because I know you guys are royalty. Nah, royalty, right. Um, grew up in uh, Indianapolis, um, part of the Hampton family. My mother, Virtue, mm -hmm. married Thomas Whitted, and uh, uh, aunts and uncles, uh, uh, what is it, uh, uh, Duke, Mm -hmm. uh, Russell, yeah. uh, Marcus, Maceo, Slide, mm -hmm. and uh, the 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 girls, uh, Elytra, uh, my mother, Don, uh, Carmelita, right? Okay. Wow. Yeah, and then you know, then I had all my brothers and sisters mm -hmm. that were in music one way or another and uh, extended family from both sides. So what made you choose your interest, instrument? Well, I mean, everybody in the house played something. Yeah. So, uh, I, you know, and they, and they never pressured you, you know. Mm -hmm. Nobody ever said, hey, you got to do this or that. But uh, just sitting around and scrounging through one of the closets, found a trumpet, yeah. pulled it out, started messing around with it. And uh, my brother Leo played the trumpet, okay. so I asked him to show me something. He showed me the C major scale, gotcha. and then told me to get out of his room. <laughs> and, and, and it was really my brother Tommy who, who really helped me, mm -hmm. and he played trombone, yeah. but he helped me to uh, you know, appreciate the horn more and mm -hmm. learn to play melodies and things like that. So uh, he, he was the one that really spent time with me more than any of them. Where did, or should I say, how did my dad influence you at any point? Well, I, I knew about uh, your father, Wes, when uh, I was pretty young. Mm -hmm. I mean, so young that I don't remember a lot of things. I mean, right. uh, uh, but Paul Parker, used to come over our house all the time that my father and him were like running buddies and they would do all sorts of stuff together uh some not so good but uh you know how yeah, well, you, know. you know the life mm -hmm. but uh uh so i would always see paul Paul had this thing about wearing his glasses even though he had glasses on he'd wear them down here and he'd always be looking at you like this <laughs> and um so you know, my father and he both played drums. Mm -hmm. And, and you know, my father played with Wes. Yeah, yeah. Paul got the gig. Mm -hmm. I always thought there was a story behind that, but I won't, I won't say what I thought the story was. Okay. But, uh, <laughs> right. We'll talk, at, we'll yeah, talk, we'll talk off, camera. off camera. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, uh, you know, there would be, you know, mention of his name mm -hmm. and everybody, you know, they, they all knew each other and everything. But when I really learned about uh, Wes was when I went to Indiana University for graduate school with David Baker oh, yeah. and and David had all these uh, history courses that he taught and this one was uh, jazz history uh, uh, I forget what he called it bebop era or something like that but he covered a lot more than that uh, so he would talk about Wes and everybody on out, you know, in the, from the Indianapolis scene, 
and how Wes kept his job as the milk delivery man, yeah, milk man. Well, yeah, all yeah. Those different jobs. So he he never wanted to he always said, you never know when things will turn around, yeah. you know, good or bad. Mm -hmm. So he always he'd he'd always go back and work those jobs enough to keep them. <laughs> right, right. You know, when he'd go out and tour and everything. And I always thought that was that was really cool. And Wes was one of those guys that, you know, you've got so many stories out there about Oh, so and so lived like this. So and so lived like this. But Wes was one of those guys that, like Clifford Brown, you know, right. the beautiful ones mm -hmm. that took care of their family and yeah. and, and 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 had a, a reputation of of, of of being a righteous dude. Mm -hmm. And it's crazy how those guys are the ones yeah. that always go mm -hmm. First. sooner. Yeah, it's really crazy. I, I you think about it, you see, like super great talented cats. And, and they were the ones that set the, the, the bar so high, the, the, the model. This is mm -hmm. the way you can be. You can be great yeah. and still be Good. this guy. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> but, but that takes a, a, I don't know. I mean, it's, it's just the way the world is. Because you see the other guys that live all kind of crazy ways and they yeah. live forever. Yeah, they do. They do. <laughs> well, I mean, their families, no. Mm -hmm. because uh, you see how they turned out. Wow. It's like my Uncle Maceo, uh, he chose, uh, he's a great trumpet player, him, mm -hmm. Slide, and Russell. Yeah. They could have front-lined any band. Russell played sax, you know, Slide played mm -hmm. trombone, Maceo played trumpet. But uh, Maceo chose to go into the ministry. Yeah. And I mean, they were like, uh, mm -hmm. uh, matter of fact, David, David had recordings of them playing. Mm -hmm. And he had like recordings of, of Maceo playing that were so forward, modern thinking. Mm -hmm. you, you would have thought it was a combination of, of, of Miles and Dizzy yeah. when they were like really hidden. Right, right. And, so that was one of the reasons that Slide kind of got put off by the family because they didn't all go, well, especially those three, yeah. didn't all go to New York together. Mm -hmm. uh, so there was a little rift there. But Uncle Maceo chose to do that, and by him choosing to do that, his family came out a certain way. Ferez witted a classy guy, a knowledgeable man, and a great musician. And sometimes he'll make a return engagement to Indianapolis. He's based in Chicago these days. He gigs there. He records there. He teaches there. Uh, and he tours all over the place. Uh, so you can also check out his website for Ferez Witted. And you can also check out ours by hitting the subscribe button and becoming a regular viewer of episodes of Further Westbound. Thanks for watching.